Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley for those of you that are new here and I am a stay-at-home mom of two little boys and I also sell part-time on eBay and Amazon. And what I discovered as I started doing this three years ago was that I was making more part-time reselling than I did at my full-time job before we had kids. Something that I love doing, I can't wait to grow it a little bit more as my kids kind of mature into full-time school and I want to share some of that knowledge with you. So for today's show, I want to talk about eBay and how I source for eBay, where I find items, what stores I go to, and what I'm looking for. So let's go over that today. So I go to thrift stores for both Amazon and eBay. And while I look for Amazon stuff in the book section, electronic section, video games, places like that, for eBay, I look in the clothing and shoes section because pre-owned fashion sells pretty well. I'm going to show you some of the things that I look for, brands I look for, a few of the items that have sold recently on eBay, as well as a few of my most recent finds in the last few days from eBay to resell so that I can make a profit from home. So when it comes to pre-owned fashion, I kind of stick to three stores that I know have brands that sell well, and I look for those brands when I'm out and about. Stores like REI have brands like Patagonia, Prana, Cool, Outdoor Research, the North Face, brands like that, and those sell very well. I also think of Nordstrom, and Nordstrom has brands like Madewell and Free People, Hudson, Johnny Was, Eileen Fisher, Diane von Furstenberg. Those brands sell great too. So I think of my REI stores, I've got my Nordstrom stores, and then Anthropology, where you can sell brands like Odile, Maeve, Sleeping on Snow. I've said in the past that if it sounds like a Michelle Branch song from the early 2000s, it's probably an Anthropology brand. There's Vanessa Virginia, Holding Horses, stuff like that. I think that's a pretty good overview of things you should look for if you're just starting out. In addition to that, I look for other things that just took time to know that they are worth money. And one way you can do that is if you find a unique item, just go into your eBay app, look up completed and sold listings for that kind of item, and you'll see what has sold in the past for that particular brand and style. So that's something that I always recommend doing. Look up comps, comparable listings, and see what sells for you. And then over time, you'll just learn by sight what sells great and what doesn't. So just today, I sold a pair of AG Adriano Goldschmied jeans, and these were actually men's jeans. And I found that men's designer jeans actually sell for a little bit more for me sometimes and a little bit faster than women's jeans. Um, but I found these at the Savers Half Off sale. They were $4 and I sold them for $39.94, including shipping. So that was a great find. As far as things that fall outside of the trifecta, I sold a Pottery Barn Kids diaper bag. This had originally had embroidery in it. It was embroidered with the initials of the child and someone was selling it. It's still brand new with tags. I removed the embroidery and there was a little bit of marking there, but it didn't matter. I bought it at a yard sale for pretty cheap. And because it's Pottery Barn and high end and new with tags, the person didn't mind and they purchased it for $35 plus $4.95 shipping. Another unique item that maybe falls outside of the classic trifecta of stores, vintage Ralph Lauren. I love selling vintage Ralph Lauren. The Ralph Lauren older styles for women that have the gold buttons or the emblazoned crest, things like that tend to do quite well for me. So I sold this Ralph Lauren sweater. It was a knit sweater, kind of St. John style with gold buttons and it sold for $35.99 plus $4.95 shipping. So I found this Free People blouse at Savers Half Off Sale. It was $2 and I sold it for just 20, but when I know it's gonna flip quickly and I know it's like a popular tunic style, oversized boho style, that's what Free People is really known for, um, I will go ahead and pick it up. So it sold for $19.99 in just literally like an hour. I still made a decent profit. I bought this Patagonia fly fishing vest for just a dollar at a yard sale and it sold for $41.50 and that just kind of shows Patagonia has, it's even a vintage style and Patagonia has that staying power. It stays valuable. In fact, sometimes a lot of their vintage pieces are worth even more than their new pieces. This Kawasaki men's racing team jacket sold for $65 and it was a yard sale find for $2. I've picked up this brand before, I've picked up Honda jackets, anything that's higher end like Ferrari, Porsche, those all do great. Nike is another brand that I, I'm a little bit 
more picky with but when it comes to like the Tiger Woods collection for golf I always pick it up I found this men's Tiger Wood collection vest at the Goodwill outlet I paid $1.45 for it when you break down all my costs and it sold for $25 in just one day so that was a quick sale and I'm really pleased with it this Patagonia women's waffle knit was another Goodwill outlet find I paid $1.45 for it and it sold for $25 in just one day so it was a very quick turnaround this North Face jacket I purchased at Savers, not on the half off day, but I did purchase it for just $5 and it sold for $54.99 in just one day. I love the North Face, especially their larger jackets, their men's jackets. If you ever come across their puffer jackets or the big, the big goose down puff jackets, those do great. This was a Goodwill outlet find from a little while back. It was $1.45 and someone purchased it for $70 in one day. It's a vintage varsity jacket. I think I probably could have gotten a little bit more money for it. This was my first time selling a varsity jacket, but it was real leather. It was from 1995. It looked good quality and comparables on eBay. This was an example of when I looked it up. I wasn't quite sure what I thought it would sell for. And so I grabbed it and it sold for $70 in one day and I was really happy with that. This Free People Laguna Thermal sold in just one day. It was a uh, saver's find uh, for $4, sold for $29.99 including shipping. And any of these tunic style, oversized, boho, long sleeve, thermal, waffle knit tops from Free People do really well. So I always end up picking them up. This is a vintage Ralph Lauren polo sport puffer jacket. So I actually saw it as I was walking out with my other goodies that I had already purchased and I said, hey, how much for the jacket? And they said, just take it. We don't care. So I grabbed it. I saw the polo sport on the side and I just thought, this is gold. It took a little while to sell because there were some stains on it, but even with that damage, it sold for $70. So I'm really pleased with that sale. This British Belt Company messenger bag I found at the Goodwill outlet. I paid $1.45 for it. This was another example of an item that looked really good quality, was real leather. I looked at the brand and I looked up comparable listings and found that it looked pretty valuable. So I went ahead and picked it up and it sold for $55. It took a few weeks, but I'm really happy with that sale and that turnaround. I talked about Nordstrom REI and Anthropology, but of course there's lots outside of that that also sells. I think it's just a good reference point to think of. If you're looking for vintage things, Ralph Lauren, Tommy Hilfiger, those do great. Um, anything that's real leather, feels quality, just look up comparables. Look up comparable listings and see what, has, what it has sold for in the past. You really don't need to have an encyclopedic knowledge of everything that sells on eBay. Just go out and start treasure hunting. So now let me show you a few things that I picked up recently that I just am barely listing on eBay today that I picked up in the last few days. I found a lot of free people. Someone was selling their free people collection. This tunic top, two of the tunic tops, and like I've said, their waffle knit long sleeve thermals tend to do great for me. Another long sleeve sort of, not oversized, this is a more fitted top, but those tend to do great for me, and I'll always pick them up if the price is right. I found this J. Crew vintage pocket tee. And it's like a Henley style. I love picking up J. Crew. It does depend on the year it was made, but almost always I'll pick up J. Crew because it's very easy to find the style number. You just look inside on the inner tag, and if you unfold it, it always has a style number at the bottom and the year that it came out right at the bottom. So that helps me a lot when I'm trying to identify the item. I can just Google it and look up J. Crew style number and then usually a stock image or the title of the item will pop up and then I can complete my listing that way. Another free people, long sleeve tunic top. These, <laughs> I found quite a few. Um, this is a Columbia quilted vest. It's basically in brand new condition. I found this at the Goodwill outlet. The Columbia recent styles that have anything that's like down or quilted tends to do really well for me, especially the newer Columbia, but also vintage Columbia can be a really great find. So always look it up and just see what the comparable listings are showing you. This is a North Face fleece full zip. And just remember full zip is worth more than half zip. <laughs> I always like finding full zip items because they tend to be worth a little bit more. So the North Face is usually a great brand to pick up. And this is no exception. The fleece the puffer jackets, the older styles, vintage North Face, 
they all tend to do pretty great. Unless it's just a plain t-shirt or a really plain hoodie, I'll pick up North Face. This is a vintage REI Goose Down puffer jacket. It's actually an REI brand. I've never picked this up before, but it looked a unique 90s color. It's bright purple on the inside, and I thought, some retro person's gonna want this. I've sold a lot of older vintage ski gear, ski outdoor gear, and it tends to do really well. So at the Goodwill outlet, since I paid $1.45 for it, I thought, let's just go ahead and take the risk. And it is goose down and good quality and in good condition. This Lily Pulitzer trench coat was a find from the Savers half off sale. It was just $5 and I thought it was really good condition. And Lily Pulitz are older prints and their trench coats tend to do pretty well and have a good following on eBay. So I went ahead and I picked it up. I do like finding Lily Pulitz are the more unique, the better. And last but not least, I found not one, but two free people vegan leather moto jackets. I love finding the moto jackets by free people. They have a really great following. People really like them. I couldn't believe it when I saw these together. Um, this was at the Savers half off sale, so I paid about $4 each. I've sold a free people vegan leather moto jacket in the past, about a year ago, and it sold for $70. So I'm hoping to get anywhere from $60 to $80 for each of those jackets. So I hope that helped you in your eBay journey if you're just starting or if you're down the road a little bit. Don't get discouraged. Just know it takes a lot of listings to start getting traction with eBay. I currently have 450 eBay listings up and I only see anywhere from 1-2% to of my inventory sell a day. So that means a third of my items are selling a month, which is great for me. That's fine. But just know that's probably what you're gonna expect. So when you start getting into the 100, 200 listings, that's when you're gonna start seeing some daily sales or sooner, just depending on what you're selling. If you're not selling pre-owned fashion and you're selling new items, that could go a lot faster and your items could sell more quickly. This is just kind of what I look for because all of my new items tend to go to Amazon FBA. And if you're unfamiliar with Amazon, I have lots of videos featuring Amazon FBA and how to do it. And I will link those videos below for you. Thanks so much for joining me. I hope you like this video. If you do like it, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more reselling content. My hope is for all moms who want to earn extra money at home to see the value in reselling and see that it can be a pretty viable income. So thanks again for watching and I'll catch you next time.